Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in GTA 5. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. Do leave your specs in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential windows settings and for that you have to search up settings on your PC. Once you're over here, go all the way down to gaming, then go over to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off as it consumes a lot of memory and processes in the background and disabling so will help you to increase your FPS. Then you have to go back to gaming, go over to game mode and then make sure to enable this thing as it will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background and it will also help you to increase your FPS as well. Right beneath that you will find graphic settings. Simply open Open this thing up and over here you'll find default settings for that you have to click on change default graphic settings and then enable both of these options that is hardware accelerated gpu scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games once you're done with that it will help you to utilize your gpu for rendering your game as well as reduce your input latency then after go back to graphics again and in this list you'll find all of your apps and games that utilizes your graphic card listed over here now once again it will automatically detect your application and games and over here i have gta 5 simply click on option and then select high performance and then click on save now just in case you don't find your game in here you have to go over to this browse button and then go over to the download location of your gta 5. next step is asus partition master it is a super simple master control application that helps you to manage your disk efficiently on your PC like a pro. You can get the free version of it from the link in the description below and it should look like this. Using it you can resize and move your disk space. You can clone or merge your operating system. You can even format your disk, delete the partition, merge the partition, split the partition, extend or shrink the partition and they have a lot more things to do. It is a super handy application which helps you to clone, convert, recover your old partition, make a bootable media and a toolkit offers you a lot of things as well. It is important to know that perfect partition of your disks will help you to give you better FPS and better performance in game because if your disks are managed correctly, you can get best FPS possible in the game and best performance of your PC. And for that, I highly recommend you guys to get an SSD installed on your PC. SSD are much faster than your hard disk drive and Jesus Partition Master also helps you to manage your SSD. Just like me, I have used my migrate OS and migrated my OS from my hard disk drive to my SSD. So previously my operating system was in this hard disk that is disk 2 and I have transferred it from disk 2 to disk 3. That is my 1TB SSD. Once you selected your source you have to select your destination go over to next and if you click on yes it will restart your pc and it will start migrating your operating system isis partition master is a super efficient way to manage your disk and increase your system performance drastically it has a lot of pro features which you can look out for yourself i'll leave a link to this down in the description below make sure to go check out isis partition master Step number two is de-animating your windows. Windows by default has a ton of animations which are completely useless and it consumes your processing power. And for disabling these unnecessary animations, you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. And once you're here, click on adjust for best performance, then click on show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts, as well as save taskbar thumbnail previews. These three are the only things you ever gonna need in the windows animations to keep your windows look intact and however it will disable 98% of your unwanted and unnecessary animations. Next step is also under the performance option that is the virtual memory setup and now I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually set up your virtual memory correctly. Simply click on this change button and then deselect automatically manage paging file size. Then select your local disk C, click on custom size and then set the initial size to 1361. This is a little bit over 1 GB and I would suggest that this is the perfect value I ever found. Then for the maximum size, you have to open up your calculator as well as system information on your PC and then have a look on your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. So simply multiply 32 with 1024 since you require the maximum size and megabytes and this is the value that you have in megabytes. You have to divide this whole value by 2 and this is the value that you have to paste over the maximum size. Then click on set and then click on ok and you are good to go. This is the optimal way of setting your virtual memory. 
Next step is disabling all startup applications. And for that, you have to press the control shift and escape key. And then over here, go to the startup application settings. And then you have to disable all unwanted and unnecessary applications that you do not use after the boot of your PC. This will help you reduce your BIOS booting time. And it will also help you to keep less number of processes and applications running in the background whenever you're playing the game. And in case you use any application, occasionally you can disable it so you can only run it when you want to use it on your pc other than that it will be turned off next step is disabling unnecessary services and for that you have to search for ms config or system config creation on your pc once you're here go over to the services section and then check on hide all microsoft services and then over here i would suggest you guys to disable all unnecessary services related to your fans rgbs which you do not require to run on your pc disabling those services will help you to improve your gaming performance as well once that is done simply click on ok next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple search for create a restore point on your pc and then look up for your local disk c simply click on configure and make sure that turn on system protection is enabled then click on create and name it gta just so you can remember it then make sure to click on the create button allow your pc a little while to do this it is really really important because if you want to restore all of the registries back to normal you can always do that without any data loss once it is done simply click on close and close system properties Properties. Next step is the GTA 5 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. In this FPS pack, you'll find in five simple folders. The first one is the CPU priority folder in which I have Intel and AMD CPU priority. So if you have an AMD CPU, you can run the AMD CPU priority. If you have an Intel CPU, you can run the Intel CPU priority. You can simply double click to run it and it will work like a charm. Then go back to the second folder, which is the RAM optimization. And once again, I have 32 GB RAM over here. So I need to run the 32 GB RAM registry but in case you have a different one I have left a ton of presets over here and you can always reset it back to default as well third folder has the most important part that is the GTA 5 optimization now over here you'll find four folders high end medium and low end and potato end and for this you need to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one you need to choose over here now once again with my pc it is a high end computer so i need to use this settings.xml and now to use this settings.xml what you have to do is copy this file and then open up a new tab go over to documents and then locate rockstar games over here then go to gta 5 then you'll find settings.xml right over here you need to make a backup of this settings.xml so simply drag it to your desktop and now once you're here paste the settings.xml the new settings over here and this will automatically apply the best settings in your game now go back to your fps pack and then you'll find command line.txt simply open this thing up in the command line.txt you'll find this string you need to copy this string over here minimize it open up steam on your pc find your gta5 right click on it go over to properties and then you need to make sure to paste this launch option right over here once that is done simply minimize it and if you can't copy that you can simply and you can't do that if you have installed it from your epic games launcher you can simply copy this command line.txt and then over here go to the installation location of your gta 5. once you are in your game folder what you have to do is control v and paste this new command line.txt right over here i've already done it so i won't do it again next folder is the windows optimization which has a ton of optional tweaks once again if the above steps helped you out you do not have to do it but once again for maximum performance i highly recommend you guys to run all of these registries it will help you to disable unwanted services and a lot more features on windows which are completely useless but consumes a lot of memory once again if you want to revert them back you can do it from here last and final is the power plan and programs in which i have msi utility v3 right click and run this as administrator and once this program opens up you have to locate your gpu then click on the msi button in front of it and then make sure to set this thing to high next is the ultimate power plan.txt you need to copy this scheme right over here and then open up command prompt as administrator 
Once it opens up, simply paste this string and press enter right away and it will add a new power plan on your PC. Now to enable that power plan, you can simply open up control panel and then go over to power options right over here. Now simply select the ultimate performance power plan which should be added in this list and you are good to go. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also, we are really close to 200,000 subscribers and your support will be really, really appreciated. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.